Moiz from Pakistan. Sheikh, it has been reported from Umar bin Khattab, Maad bin Jabal, Abu Raira, and Abdullah bin Masood that the one who who skips single pair is a kafir, and I believe this is a view correct, as is the view of Ibn Baz and Imam Ahmed. So should I divorce my wife who pray four times or three times? Because I believe the one who skips single pair is kafir, as is the view of Sahaba. Okay, I will answer, inshallah. Uh, yeah, this is a brother who says that he follows the opinion of four of the, the, the companions. That is, he mentioned, I think, Mu'ad ibn Jabal, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, and Umar ibn Khattab, etc. And he says he follows that opinion, which states that whoever misses one salat is a kafir. And this is the opinion of Ibn Baz. And he says his wife skips prayers every now and then. So should he stay with her? Akhi, if you follow an opinion... Don't go follow, uh, 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 do fatwa shopping. Now you said that these four companions stated that who misses one salat is a kafir. And this is not the most authentic opinion. However, let's assume it is. Do you have proof that they had said it? Because nowadays everybody quote, everybody quotes whoever he wishes. Someone comes said, oh, Napoleon Bonaparte said so and so and so. Prove it. Show me the chain of narrators. Show me documentation. Just because one scholar who died 300 years ago claimed that these companions 1,100 years ago said such and such without bringing the chain of narrators, the senad, the book, the reference, those who heard it from them, does not make it authentic. And this is similar to one of the brothers who asked uh, and, and said that Imam Ahmad said, whoever says Allah has a body unlike other bodies, he's a kafir. Where did Imam Ahmad say this? Oh, I don't know, Sheikh. I heard someone say that he heard someone who heard it from a friend. So subhanAllah, Azza wa Jal. It's raining men now. How is, how is this possible? How do you come and claim that Imam Ahmad said without verification, without proving that this is from the book so-and-so, uh, um, with a correct chain of narrators to Imam Ahmad. This is unacceptable. Point two, when you assume something, who among the scholars you know personally that said this? There is a quote that Imam Ahmad said that whoever abandons one prayer is a kafir, according to some scholars. This is not the opinion of Imam Ibn Baz, may Allah have mercy on him. But when you cherry pick, when you just randomly check for fatwas and you collect what you like, this is not proper way of doing it. Thirdly, if you have the conviction and you are following that opinion, why you ask me? One plus one equals two. If you believe that a person who misses one salat is a kafir, then your wife is a kafir according to your uh, analysis. And hence, you cannot be with her and the children that you bring from her are born out of wedlock, and you can inherit her, you have to defer immediately. Why disturb the things that need to be kept as they are? Why do you dig old graves and open old files when you know that the scholars say, as long as a person Praise on and off, he's still a Muslim. No, 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 I'm convinced of the extreme opinion. Okay, that's your choice. Go ahead with it. Why ask me? If you want my opinion, I told you my opinion. Those who pray on and off, they're still labeled as Muslims. Until proven otherwise. You guys want to jump the gun. You want to prove them kafir until proven otherwise. And this is the methodology of the khawarij.